All right, hey Libra, so I'm doing an energy check-in. It's just a love read. And we're gonna see um, just what's happening between you and this person and get a 30-day outcome. So you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about this person. So if that doesn't resonate with you, check your other placements. You guys, and if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. Let's give it one more shuffle and I'm just gonna pull to see who I'm talking to, Libra, your energy. <clears throat> well, I haven't messed up like that in a minute. So the Seven of Cups is showing up. You could have more than one person eyeing you right now, um, but you could just have your eye on one person. You have the Three of Wands coming through with the Six of Coins. So it's all about balance right now, equality. Um, and it's, I almost feel that you might have your eye on one certain special somebody, but, um, as, as much as I would love to say that, you know, or see more commitment reads come through, it's almost like you're dealing with a lot. You could be having just a lot of energy, a lot of people, a lot of, um, eyes on you right now at this moment in time, but it's like, I have my eye on one person, you know? And I want everything to be balanced, fair, and equal between me and the one I have my eye on. It's like I'm waiting for my ships to come through. And, you know, it's not that you're being derogatory or negative to everybody else that could be potentially coming through here. But you know that there's one person um, in your sights that really keeps you balanced. So you know what it feels like to be um, a part of that person's life, almost. How do you feel <clears throat> about this person? The Ten of Wands, you're not giving up on the dynamic, all right? So the one that's coming through, like even if you have uh, more than one eyeball, again, I can't stress it because I feel like you do. You have your eye on one person. You know the dynamic needs to change, but I do feel like you you have a fear it's th that they're not coming back, all right? But you're very determined, you're very focused, and you're not giving up on what um, potential dynamic could play out here between you and this person. Um, the Six of Cups is going to be that past life um, soul di dynamic, you know? Um, and I feel like, really, you don't want this person to give up on the connection just as much as you want it to come back. And Death Card is just acknowledging, you know, um, but this person does need to change, especially if they brought um, some unequal energy to to this connection if they're not fair if they're not balanced you know um it's like they could be going through a lot right now they could just be uh um not ready you know because of everything that they've that's kind of transpired and i almost feel like too you're kind of drawing this awareness that this person um there's going to be a huge there needs to be a huge shift before you would even accept that person back no matter how deep the connection, you know, but you know, you don't want to give up on this person. You don't want to give up on the dynamic. You're not giving up on it. It's like, no matter who comes through, this person strikes you in such a certain way. Um, you're not giving up on it. So let's just see who we're talking about. Who is this person? So the 10 of cuffs is going to be Pisces. You got Pisces, uh, Virgo with a 10 of coins. You could be seeing 10, 10 a lot. And the page of wands, I associate pages with earth energy. Um, but Gem, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then you got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, and then Pisces. So this right here is uh, definitely somebody who is, even if you don't know about this person, Libra, what I'm going to say is they're definitely somebody who em is embarking on their own spiritual path. This is somebody who is uh, channeling through, removing um, the false sense of self. This is somebody who's removing, you know, um, stuck old belief systems and patterns. This is somebody who's just now discovering um, who they truly are. All right. Um, and their energy right now is emotional um, happiness, emotional well-being, finances. So this, this person is trying to find balance right now between money and ha happiness from the heart space. All right. It's like they have a goal and a vision. I almost feel like if this person, they could be potentially aware that this rebirth has to happen. Okay. Um, because this is really positive energy that just came straight out the gate. So let's see how they feel about you. This is somebody who has a big vision for the future and they want to make sure it's working out for them and whoever is in their life. How they feel about you. <clears throat> The Nine of Swords, stress, worry, depressed about the past, stressed about the future. Um, it's worry, you know. 
They could look at you as somebody who's kind of withdrawing your energy. So if you got a lot of people, a lot of eyes on you, this person could potentially be kind of checking that out. Um, and also kind of seeing that they could be losing some of your energy. Um, I have to say, you know, it could be too that they're kind of feeling a little bit of the karmic retaliation from how things have gone between you and them, how things have transpired. It's almost like, you know, I didn't pick you when you wanted. So I'm kind of feeling the wrath about that. Um, this right here is somebody who's very direct, open-minded, has mental clarity, somebody who's very authoritative, truthful, honest, um, and, and just you set clear boundaries. They, it's like, they see you in this energy and it's almost like you gave them the king of swords energy and boom they clammed up and now they're kind of realizing that let's see how you make them feel how do you make this person feel the five of coins abandoned you make them feel abandoned you make them feel lost without you okay so while you're kind of waiting for things to kind of shift in your favor this person they're feeling a lost the king of cups and the queen of wands is showing up here like boom this person knows that you guys are a divine couple all right um how you make them feel is like uh, you it's like not only like in through libra's eyes i feel like the most attractive the most special you know the most um um gosh independent the most confident and and through this king of cups you make this person feel emotionally balanced you make them feel compassion you make them see and embody that sense of self-love and self-care and without your healing dynamic that healing energy this person is like lost they're lost um so i could see you probably pulled back your energy from this person especially if things weren't shifting and you know and it's not that it's not my way or the highway but it's not equal give and take and this person is seeing you pull back that energy and they just feel at a loss so let's just see what their hopes and fears are with this connection hopes and fears the fears are definitely coming out more stronger all right, the eight of coins coming through, I feel is a hope. It came through in the upright, and that's that we can work on this. We can be a team. We can move forward, right? The knight of wands comes through in reverse. It's a fear. It, it, this right here, I feel, is the person that's attracting all of these energies. That seven of cups, you have options. All eyes are on you. And the fear is, is that you're not going to pick this person, all right? Um, the knight of wands in reverse is, are you going to, you know, it's... I, it's not that you're a player because I don't feel that vibration from this energy, but it it it's almost like this person, it, it a fear is that they played themselves, you know, by not choosing you to begin with. Also, the five of cups is coming through, suspended right here in the past, you know. Um, I just I'm getting kind of emotional because it's like this person needs to hurry the f up, right? They need to hurry the fuck up. So let's just see what's uh tra let's see what's transitioning <clears throat> the next thirty days for you guys. Look at that. You got the Knight of Cups coming through, the Ace of Wands. So there's going to be a new direction that you and this person sit at, you know. Um, here's what I'm going to say. You guys don't, don't, the smallest um, effort, especially on the deeply, deeply rooted connections, it, it might not seem like much to you, you guys, but sometimes it takes somebody just, um, especially, I just feel like there's so many spiritual changes happening and <clears throat> when we're dealing with people who are afraid of their feelings and emotions, it's almost like just to give a little bit of credit because sometimes the smallest effort is a really big step for the person that's on your heart space. All right. But the next 30 days you have incoming, you have the knight in shining armor. You have the knight of cups coming through with creation. It's charm, imagination. And I feel like this is, uh, you know, essentially this person um, being directed towards you. All right. You got the ace of wands and it's like this person's bringing that energy. They're bringing the fire. They're bringing the heat, the passion and the victory. So it's like, what do you want to, um, what do you want to happen with this Libra? 
whatever you guys want to happen with this, I feel is basically spirit saying it's in your favor. All right. Um, just ma maintain your nurture, uh, your charm, maintain your magnetism. All right. Think positive, stay positive, self care, self love. All right. Um, and then project what it is you want, because I feel like favor is on your side, Libra. Um, it really is. So let's just see whose initials, uh, want to show up here. Who is coming through for Libra? All right. <clears throat> Just keep in mind, you guys, as long as you resonate with the cards, that's the energy that matters. So you have H, R. And it could be yours or this person's first, middle, or last. D, S, Q. Z and we got J all right Libra you guys I'm gonna leave it there um, I truly hope the best outcome runs for you guys or comes to you guys I should say just um, it looks like you guys are on the on the ball like to call in what it is your your understanding you have an awareness that change needs to happen in order for this to take off and sell in the direction that you're wanting it to so just stay positive you guys manifest a positive outcome take care